I fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Alright, what I've got here is an organic material It's cornstarch Something that you would cook with Pretty simple and he's going to let this match and see if we can't set this organic material on fire because organic materials are flammable. Strike the match and see if you can't light this. Good job. Oh, God, no. What happened? Yeah. Nothing? Did you? What happened? Nothing happened. Has happen? anybody ever heard of a grain elevator? No. What? You know what a silo is? Yeah. I know which put, put, never mind. I know which put, put what? Okay, it's where you store uh, things that are harvested, like wheat, corn, stuff like that. You heard of that? Oh, no, I want to see. Not a greenhouse, a silo on a farm. Anyway, inside there, there's an elevator or some sort of machine that would take part of that from one side to the other oh, yeah. to transfer it so you could put more in. Uh -huh. And when that happens, you get dust, sort of like, I mean, you know, this stuff. Can you see that dust? It's pretty dusty. <laughs> so we've got cornstarch that's natural. And in a grain elevator, they've got grain that is natural, made out of either corn, wheat, whatever. So when that stuff goes from one place to another, it creates this dust. And if there's anything in there that can create a spark, like a piece of metal stuck in the grain, hits the metal from the crane or the elevator, it could create a spark, something bad might happen. In 1998, there was a grain elevator explosion that killed seven people. Earlier than that, there was one that killed 14 people. Earlier than that, there was one that killed 30-some people and it leveled a whole town in Minnesota. I'm talking about the whole farm, the factories that crushed the grain and all that stuff, uh, block by block by block, it just leveled the whole town. So that's a pretty powerful explosion, isn't it? Yes, it is. So we're talking about rate of reaction and we're seeing how concentration and surface area affects a chemical reaction. Can we light this cornstarch on fire just now with the match? No. All right, let's see what happens when we increase the concentration in surface area. Okay, now. No. Did you go drop it in there? Who's watching her hand? Go! Six, seven, nine, eight, seven, two, what are you doing? I said, oh. I don't know, I'm cutting my ears. Great balls of fire. Balls of fire. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. We couldn't light the cornstarch on fire with the match. Why did it light on fire there? You set the candle on fire? Well, we had a, a light source. We needed some sort of fuel, yeah. Like I said, when a piece of metal sparks up against another piece of metal and creates an ignition, that's why one of those silos exploded and killed all those people. So this represents our silo or our grain elevator. Inside will be a grain elevator doing its job or whatever. And we have a lot of dust flying around, a lot of dust particles from that cornstarch. I don't know if you guys can see down in here. Can you see how the dust just... Um, yeah. Engulfs the whole can. That, it's all up blow? against the side. How'd you get the lid to blow off? How did I get the lid to blow off? He didn't the That's how powerful the explosion was. Hey, can you put more it more was. Stuff? It was you need the straw I needed the straw to put air in here to make dust, so the flame well, would spread. So when there was no fire, when the cornstarch was in here. The flame was in there, there was no fire. When I spread the cornstarch and made the dust, then that increased the surface area and it increased the concentration of molecules colliding with one another. And they were all able to set on fire. And one set the other one on fire, another one set that one on fire, and there was a chain reaction of a huge chemical reaction, and that's what you see. Boom. Right. <laughs>